currently the day after the biggest sale I've ran in my small business ever. I had a Black Friday sale, which started on Thursday, and then I ran that into Cyber Monday. You guys have absolutely blown me away. In September, that was my biggest month to date with revenue and orders, and I was super happy with that. And then I decided to run the sale. You guys just went absolutely ham. So now currently November is my biggest month ever, and November is not even done yet. It's literally only... Well, it's almost done. It's the 28th. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my Shopify app. It is popping. That's 160 orders that we have to fulfill. And I even packaged like 30 of them the other day because they were TikTok shop orders and they had to go out within a certain time frame where they get canceled. We still do have 160 orders to package, which is a lot. And some of the stuff isn't even made yet. So it's gonna be a busy day, but we're gonna get this done. Also. Look at this crew neck from Shopify. This is not sponsored, but like I think I'm literally gonna live in this now. It's so cute. On another note, I am extremely thankful for you guys. Honestly, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I'm so glad that this is my job. And although I was stressing out over the weekend being like, oh my God, I have to get these orders out. I wouldn't change it for the world. You guys are freaking amazing. That's all I have to say. So let's start packing some orders because we have a very, very busy day ahead of us. This is 160 orders. This is all the Black Friday and Cyber Monday orders. What the freak? Are you guys real? Once all of my packing slips and shipping labels were printed out, I sorted them based on product. So for example, I made a pile with all of my screen print transfer orders, pile with all of the t-shirt orders, and a pile with all of my ruler orders. I then decided to pack the screen print transfers first. I have these cute little cubbies with all of my transfers laid out, which makes it super easy and super quick to pack the transfer orders. I definitely underestimated how long I thought this was going to take. I didn't realize that I had so many transfer orders, but after a few hours, I was done packing them. Next, I headed out to the garage to go pack all of my t-shirt and crew neck orders. Just finished grabbing all of my t-shirt orders. They're all lined up right here. We have lots of t-shirt orders. Let me show you my favorite order. It has the... Vintage Anatomy crew neck in ivory. They also got a Medical Doodles t-shirt in a size large. They also got the Medical Doodles in a crew neck version. This is like so comfortable. Then they got the Vintage Anatomy in a crew neck as well. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. I also had to show you guys this order because it's adorable. They got the Medical Doodles tee, the dental tee, and the teacher tee, and a car diffuser. I'm definitely sensing this is a Christmas gift. My process for bagging t-shirts is a little bit different, so I like to pull them off the shelves and put them with their packing slip and shipping label and then bag them. I'm not really a fan of walking back and forth between each order, so that's the reason why I pull them and then I can just bag them and be in the zone. Now we're moving on to packing some car diffuser orders. So this order was for the car diffuser in the Willow scent. A little fun fact, most of my car diffusers are actually inspired by Taylor Swift, so they have Taylor Swift names such as Willow, Champagne Problems, and Gold Rush. The Willow car diffuser is definitely the best seller, and personally, I think it's the best smelling too. Now it's time to pack all of our ruler orders, so first things first, I like to make all of the boxes before I package them. Before I start packing the ruler orders, there's a few things I have to do. The rulers come with this paper backing so that the acrylic doesn't get scratched, so I just have to remove all of the backings before I package them. I want to make sure the rulers are super safe, so I just wrap them in this foam so they don't get scratched or beat up during transit. I laid out all of my boxes and then just started putting the rulers in the boxes one by one.
Also, as a small business owner, I find it super important to personalize things so it feels like you actually are shopping small. So I handwrite these thank you cards for each of my customers. You're probably wondering what the heck I'm doing in this video, but I like to set up my packages so I can take some pictures for Instagram and YouTube, so that's what I'm doing here. Well, we officially packaged up all of the orders. This is pretty much everything. There are a few shirts that I'm still waiting on to be made, so I don't have those packaged quite yet, but this is it. We, we freaking did it. My shelves are empty. I loaded everything onto this table so we could take some pictures. So I know it takes a lot more time instead of just like throwing these in a bag and taking them to the car, taking them to the Bo's office. I really, really like to take like packaged pictures. Here we are, this took me like 30 minutes to like set up and take some pictures. This is like totally embarrassing, but I think I might put my phone camera like outside to take pictures because the lighting is like not really working right here. And I need more natural light, which means I'm gonna have to open the door. The only thing is there's like a big main road out there and like everybody is gonna see what's happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this door and pray that nobody walks by. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I hate this. And then, oh, this makes me feel like I'm gonna Anyways, I think it's just like a way better angle and the lighting, so I'm gonna take some pictures, some videos. Ugh, I just gave myself an ick. Okay, we're done with that. We're done with that. Well, update, I did all of that for nothing because the video came out terrible. It's not the worst, just like really kind of embarrassing, and the lighting was not how I thought it was gonna be. Let's take a little peek here. Oh yeah, look how cringy. I thought the lighting would be way better, it's just kind of dark. Well. That's that. Kind of disappointed, but I got some other good pictures. See, now if I wanted to make this easy on myself, what I would do is I would have two separate bins that are for UPS and USPS, and then as I package my orders, I would just throw them in there. But instead, I make it really, really complicated, and I just bag all my orders, put them in a gigantic pile, and then move them into a separate room so that I can take pictures with them so I have stuff to post on Instagram. Well, now that I'm done filming content and taking pictures, I'm putting them in these USPS bags so I can take them to the post office. So I wanted to get the USPS stuff like kind of out of my hair and there wasn't really all that much to go to USPS compared to UPS. So I'll just do a UPS pickup tomorrow and then we'll head to the post office today. Well, we did it 160 orders later. We did it. I am so, so thankful for you guys. Seriously, I can't even imagine what my life would be like without this business and you guys keep it afloat every day. So I can't thank you enough. I had a lot of fun packaging orders as much as I was completely stressed out. It is worth every second of it. I love you guys.